Welcome to Remote Collaboration with AutoCAD and BIM 360. Hope everyone is well and keeping safe in this difficult time. In today's situation, when many people are having to work from home, many of our customers have asked about BIM 360 and AutoCAD, which enables people to collaborate on the cloud. Some people think BIM 360 only for, is only, only for Revit collaboration, but we can also use the same platform to collaborate for AutoCAD files. Uh, before I start uh, my webinar, uh, I'm going to keep everybody on the mute because this is going to be a compact uh, half an hour webinar. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, um, details uh, but it's like an overview of how we can um, uh, achieve collaboration uh, for AutoCAD files. But if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them uh, at the end of the um, webinar. Uh, there is a question and answer uh, tab on the Zoom that you can write the questions if you have any, and I'll try to answer you uh, at the end. If there are other more questions or any other things you want to ask, um, you can also send us an email as well. So, a few things about A2K Technologies. A2K Technologies is fifth largest um, Autodesk partner in the world. Uh, A2K Technologies fosters innovation through our consulting and training in conjunction with the delivery of software and hardware solutions. We provide on-site and on uh, on-site and online training, consulting integration, beam implementation, CAD management, customized content creations, and many other things. If you want to find more, please contact us today. So brief information about myself. Uh, my name is Bikal Kimire. I'm technical consultants, uh, consultant for A2K Technologies. I've been working for A2K Technologies for the last uh, four years. Uh, I do mainly um, consulting and support. Uh, I'm a certified trainer. Uh, I've got, I'm an architect by background. So before uh, ATP technology, I used to do your work in architecture form. Uh, I'm also certified Revit architecture and AutoCAD professional. Something just happened. Okay. So trends driving AEC collaboration. Uh, even before this uh, global epidemic happened, BIM adopt, uh, adoption continues to accelerate as owners realize the benefit of BIM and the associated project savings, leading to more BIM mandates and the advancement of new standards. As a result, there is an explosion of data with higher fidelity and greater frequency. Project increase in collaboration, project delivery models such as de design, build, continuous of integrated project delivery or IPDs. All models require increased level of collaboration and communication. Teams are distributed more globally, companies located across cities, time zones, and continents, but technology is helping remove those, these barriers. People, technology, and projects are becoming more connected than ever before. Data is more accessible and can be delivered faster to anyone needing access to it. Yet AEC projects are incredibly, incredibly complex and produce an incredible amount of data. Historically, sensing and utilizing all this data was impossible and has been one of the biggest challenges in the industry. The workflows and data have been disconnected. Challenges collaborating across many companies and many disciplines. As projects become more complex, there is high frequency of data that is repeat, uh, rapidly being in, iterated. Bad information and data silos across companies lead to massive waste and distributed teams are hurt by delays in communication and waste time searching for right project information. So these are some current tools um, uh, but these tools are not built for design data. Um, FTP or SharePoint can be expensive and complex to implement. Networks drive 
so serve the need of sharing internally, internally cloud stories. But the problem that there is that basic cloud storage tools are not built to manage design data. Point solutions, while these, while these solutions are more tailored to the way AEC projects, the only one solve one need at a time and are hard to integrate with other solutions and do not support project life cycle collaboration. So all this being 360 accelerates project delivery and reduces risk for companies by enabling the office to easily coordinate and connect while empowering the field to anticipate and act. So this is, even though we are just going to concentrate on AutoCAD and um, BIM 360, um, just wanted to show you the overview of the quick overview of the entire uh, construction process. And this is how BIM 360 looks like across the entire construction process. Using the inter uh, Autodesk Enterprise Cloud, individual projects share the same cloud database and, can, and data can be exchanged where necessary without the need of file exports and the time consuming process of manually sharing between the team. Best of all, because it is cloud based, the data is always ready to be consumed by the team, either on the desktop or mobile dev devices. There are separate webinars uh, covering Revit, Civil 3D, Infraworks, and other softwares, but I am just going to focus on AutoCAD. So the first one here is Beam 360 design. Um, so Beam 360 design not only connects those Revit users to central location, has other management tools to help manage cloud data for internal workflow and working with other companies or consultants. Design is POD about access and editing the information. So for AutoCAD users, we don't really need design. Um, we, what we need is the next one, which is called Beam 360 Docs. So Beam 360 Docs is where all the document is, is the document management, management part of Beam 360 for uh, Revit users and non-Revit users or AutoCAD users like us. It underpins the entire Beam 360 workflow. This is a single source of um, uh, storage for all documents um, and all other Beam 360 features or tasks, such as the next one, Beam 360 coordinate, or design and so on, they all use the documents stored in Beam 360 docs. So just a quick information of what these other um, um, tools are. So these Beam 360 um, coordinate a license or Beam 360 coordinate uh, is used for um, is to is used for to coordinate our class management of the models inside Beam 360 docs. Beam 360 build focuses on construction aspect. Those who are on mobile, uh, those who are in mobile devices in particular, and um, those who need to track changes, issues, safety information, and so on. Beam 360 layout um, is for delivering beam information out into survey equipments. Beam 360 plan is for simple project and task management during construction process. Beam 360 Ops, streamlines handover and operations and limit warranty expenses. So from all of these, um, you, you can generate um, report activities and analyze, and analyze risk in Beam 360 Insight. So Beam 360 Docs is used for controlling, publishing, viewing, and sharing of information, document control and visioning for all file types, but from design reviews with 2D and 3D uh, compare and markers, manage contract documents and track project activities. So a brief information about the subscription. So um, there are subscription interagreements on individual products in the Beam 360 platform. If you have access to Beam design, for example, you will also get access to Beam docs, sorry, docs, um, because it is fundamental for all other um, apps like design, coordinate, build. Other people who only ask, um, need uh, Beam 360 for accessing documents or for non-Revit uh, users, we can just use Docs um, license so we can at least then participate in sharing and sharing of the documents. So, as I said earlier, we're going to focus on docs because that is what we need 
for our AutoCAD um, uh, collaboration workflow. So being trusted to docs ensure the project team is building from the correct version of documents, plans, and models. You can publish, you can share, you can view, and you can communicate with docs. So BIM 360 docs is a, a single repository, aids with the publishing of document by automating common tasks such as extracting data from the sheets. As you can see in the screenshots, you can assign folder label permissions to users, roles, or companies, helps control the release of information to the field. And also there is a versioning. So every time you publish or upload the drawings, um, there is a versioning and also um, you can um, mark up um, and comment on those as well. In Beam 360 Docs, you can also compare um, design versions with uh, sheet stacking, easily viewing changes between, um, between color identified versions. So you can compare two different plans, for example, and see what changed. You can also create markups, share and review design markups on 2D and 3D models, providing a quick turnaround on reviews and approvals. You can open, assign, comment on, and manage issues from the web or a mobile device, alert users of new submission. You can assign drawings and models to sets during or after publishing, making it easier to manage specific version of documents, facilitate control and automate the review and distribution of project drawings, models, and other documents, formally send project drawings, models, and other documents to another project member. Uh, the great thing about uh, Office, uh, sorry, BIM 360 is the um, ability to, um, for Office 365 subscribers, uh, cannot only view, but also directly edit Microsoft Word, Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint from within BIM 360. It will just open up for Office 365. Um, the other thing is uh, desktop connector. Uh, it connects the cloud to the desktop, so you can open, save, move, rename, or delete files from BIM 360 from your desktop. So it, um, so it becomes very easy to um, um, use the files. So with the new uh, updates, you can also lock and unlock files from the desktop connector as well. So for our quick um, overview, um, what we're going to do is for AutoCAD, first thing we'll do is for the project admin is to create um, the project, then uh, once you create a project uh, on BIM 360, you then uh, activate the products, like document management in our case, needs to be activated. Then you um, add the administrators and project members. It is um, um, advisable that you have more than one uh, administrators in case someone goes on holidays or is away, um, you can manage the project with another one. Okay, so, you can not only um, project mem uh, members from your own company, you can also uh, assign members from other companies or other consultants as well. Then you can load documents and set permissions um, for each folders. Um, so it can be done by directly uploading files into um, the 60 way um, interface, or you can just um, load from and drag and drag drop uh, dragging and dropping into your BIM 360 folder in your desktop also works. Uh, the good thing uh, about it is the ability to when you drag and drop the main drawing files it also um, uh, copies the reference file. So if you have a reference AutoCAD drawing files all the accessible references are also uh, copied when you drag the main file. Um, the, but before that um, thing to work, you need to uh, sign into desktop connector, going to your taskbar, and uh, if there's any, uh, then refresh drive, and if any pending actions, you can see all of those from your desktop app as well, desktop connector as well. So as I said, with the new updates of desktop connector, you can lock and unlock the files that will prevent the files from being overwritten. So the files are always synced to the cloud and 
any member of your com uh, of the auto um, of your of the any member of the project can then uh, once you update the drawings, sync the drawings in the cloud, can then keep on working. So you can all work um, uh, um, on the same project, um, even if you are in different locations, different countries, or different uh, places. Um, uh, unfortunately, in AutoCAD, we cannot work. Um, there is no option of um, work sharing, so only one person at a time um, can work in one file. So once you um, save the drawing and unlock, the things automatically is synced back, and then you can share it with other people. You can um, issue the drawings. You can do all of those things from within AutoCAD. Okay, so from once it is synced, you can just go to the application menu in AutoCAD, go to BIM 360, and just open the file as if you are opening from the um, from your computer, and then you can keep on keep on working. Save the file, sync it back. It works. Uh, there's also one more um, uh, thing I, before I finish is um, we are going to have a um, few other uh, webinars, and if you haven't signed into the webinars, you may want to sign in register for it now. Um, so we have Microsoft Office 365 with Autodesk, uh, Civil 3D, AutoCAD, Revit. Um, also remote wor uh, working remotely with uh, BIM 360 workflows. Um, these are the times on our sc screen. Also we have got uh, instructor-led sessions um, uh, on these days. So please remember to sign in. If you um, um, have any uh, questions about uh, BIM 360, contact your uh, account manager for more details, or you can also go to www.a2ktechnologies.com.au uh, slash b360. Thank you for your time. So, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer you for, for you for now. Let me check. Okay, so there is no answers, no, no questions, sorry. Um, yep. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Oh, no. uh, okay, so thank, questions from, um, from, is it possible to get the webinar in PPT uh, form? Uh, you will be able to get the webinar on our um, A2K Technologies um, YouTube uh, website. Um, but if you want to get it for PPT, please contact um, any of our um, um, marketing people or just send us an email. Um, I'm not sure about the PPT form, but yeah, if you want to just uh, record it, it be alright. Yeah, thank you. It is in the. It will be in YouTube in a few days. And if you want to watch any other videos that we have done so far. You may want to go from subscribe to A2K Technologies YouTube channels, and these all there are a lot of um, webinars and so on um, that you can uh, watch. And if you also need like a specific one-to-one -one training or you know like so setting the whole thing up, um, just going into detail and showing you how it works in AutoCAD, please come kind of contact us, and we can also set it up like a instructor-led um, thing that you can um, um, you know that we can show you step by step how it is done and you can also participate. So if you are interested in this or any training or anything like that, just contact A2K Technologies and then send us an email and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you, bye for now.